so hello guys and welcome to day 18 of this full stack shift taking application so in our last video we started customizing our admin dashboard here as you can see here we created also this announcement page here whereby we can be able to add this title which will serve as a subject of our, our email and also this description with which will go like announcement for our email so after this now i we also want we also uh, edited some things here and also customized some various things here like we also created this part client here and also we added here this stuff and if you see here up you can see that we are using wrong path because this is uh, users and uh, and we should add it like uh, stuffs and also this one will be for clients also we need to add for this for shift it should be like product it should not be products here and also it, it should be the ship for the shift also here for announcement is okay for we will add a uh, rate on for incidences so if you remember in our pre previous videos we start by pushing our code to our github so if you come here in the in this part here you have the, your application and then do git branch you can see we have various branch now and you can see all these branch and uh, because we have not finished customizing our admin dashboard i, uh, I won't be uh, pushing my uh, or I'm not, I'm not going to create any other branch right now i'm going to create an, uh, another branch for customizing after already we have finished with the customization of our admin dashboard so right now i want us to go right in and start uh, looking at other things that we can change so now let's go inside here and i want us to go to this app.js here and this is where i want to change some path because for like this one here we need to change it to maybe users or oh, stuff let me say stuffs and also i want us to change here to stuff like that and then this one here will be stuff uh, id like that also i want us to change like this product here it should be shifts so let me try here let me shifts like that and also here will be shift and then it will be like shift id here so if i do this i think this will be okay and also here i want to change it to new stuff here and here also it will be new shift like that so let me change to new shift so let me see how it looks so these are new stuff announcement stuff id uh stuffs and then a uh, container so right now if i change here because remember here we also using the routes if i try to go to this part here you can see yeah, we are going we are still going to use us here but when i reload also you'll not be able to see this page here because see we are trying to access this stuff route here and we don't have that uh, users route so we need also to go to this sidebar here and also change those route so let me go back here so let's go back into our application in our sidebar here and this is where i'm going to change some routes so the first thing let me look for this route that we are calling clients and here i'm going to call it also staffs but we we'll change that later also here also for the users we need also to change it to staffs and uh, we want also to have another another one so let me change this one for the products because here down you can see we have the route for products then this one should be uh will be for shifts like that and then what else do i need to do here for announcement is okay so if i change that and then save that you'll be able to see it now instead of users because now we can have users our staffs now let me go back if i go back here and then click on this for stuff now and be able to see now we can access this page here because already we have changed our routes and also in for our clients here also you can see the same route and that's why we can see this one this page here for the users 
now the other thing if we click on the stuff now we can be able to see stuffs here so if i try to go into this part for edit you can see we cannot see the the we are not be able to see like this part here we cannot be able to see this page here and this is because we changed this if you look up here you can see we have product and then id and this where we changed also to shift and then id or shift id so what i'll do is that i will go to this page this page is uh this page let me show you so this page of ours we are calling it product list so this product list here contain the data or our shift information but you can change it and call it shift list so let me come here and uh, here you will be able to see where you we have a link and you want to navigate you can see here we have this link that you want to navigate to this part that we are calling now shift id so here also you need to change this to be shift id then shift and then id this is the this route here that we have the shift and then id so and then also we need to go to our users list here because this also we we are changing we are navigating to the page for seeing only one user and uh, here let me show you something so if we scroll down here you can see also somewhere that we are going to uh, this part here that we are calling users and then id but in our case we have changed into let me show you yeah we have changed to staff and then id so you can see this route here so now let me save this and when i now go back and then in here and uh, try to go into this part so let me reload this so if i try and go to this part for viewing one shift in details you can be able to see how it looks but right now you can see it's just a page that contains the uh, product id so we are going to change now this information so this here we can see the list of products here and uh, let me start by going into the shifts here so here we need to have an information of our shifts and what i'll do is that i will use um i'll just be using shifts information and to do that i'm going to create using chargpt here so you can see chargpt up here so this is chargpt and uh, already i had created this information by giving it prompt so you can see the first prompt that i give it here so this is a uh, prompt is saying i want you to create a data that is an array of objects and the object contains information like id location date time type duration client staff email clock in clock out so this is the data of shifts also clock in and clock out is an array of object that contains time accuracy object of coordinates in terms of magnitude and uh, latitude create 10 of such objects so it didn't create all those 10 objects actually it created like two of them so down here i told it to create five sheets so which it did here so this is the information that we we will use now as our demi data so if i come here into my shift so if you check in this part here let me just cross this one here and if we go to this uh, part here or this page that we are calling product remember this uh, product page is this that we are seeing here that contains the data for our product so let me try click here edit and this is where you are able to see this is one that you are calling product just seeing the details of one product but we are going to change it to be product for shifts so then i want to go back here to my shifts and this shift here because this is the product list page here we can navigate also to this now product list so i want to show you where this data is coming from so if you check here we are using this uh, data grid so this data grid is from material ui and you can use this data grid to create something that looks like this of which is very good to use data grid 
and remember we used data grid in our previous video so using this uh, data grid here we can be able to to use something like sort as so here we can be able to do things like sort by ascending sort by descending filter hide show columns and things like that so that's why it is very appropriate to use data grid and this data grid here you can be able to see it is from material ui and then data grid also we are able to use other things like icons from material ui so if you want to know how to use material ui also i'll be showing you in uh, later videos so this is product rows here and this uh, product rows we have now like this demi data page here so and you can see here because we operate in columns and rows in when you're using data grid you can be able to see here we have these columns and these columns contains the fields that we have in our that we have in our columns and or in our data also you can see the field here we have the product and everything here you can be able to see the field then status uh, we have the stock we have uh, price but i'll be showing you how to change everything here and this field information here is the one that you can see here uh, you can see the id the product the stock the status the price and then action here so let me do this so i'm going to change that but in here now when we have this uh, you can see here when we have this uh, part here for return we can see now we are using this data grid and the first thing that we give it is rows of which is the data so let's see what is in this road or this data that is so if we scroll up here we need to show so we have this data and if you can see here we are setting this data from this product rows so where is this product rows you can see here this product rows is from this demi data so let's look for demi data so this is the demi data here so let me look for that product row let me see if i can so this is the product row that is so you can see users rows you can see product data and uh, what else do we see here you can see user data so this is the user data we have product data here and uh, this is what we are calling product row so actually this is the product row yeah this is the product row so what i'll do is that i want to change this and uh, i want i want to call this shift rows so shift rows i want also now to get my data from now my chat gpt so let me check uh take everything here so copy this copy this or oh, let me just copy it like this so all the way down so here now if i copy all of this and then put it into now my data so let me change this let me first of all see how i have copied it so everything so what i'll do is that now here because this is our shift row so let me scroll up here you can see this actually let me scroll down here because let me scroll up here a little bit so this is users rows so let me scroll down here and uh, you can see this is because this is shift rows now i'm going to paste here so let me scroll until there so let me paste it here so you can see now we have changed the information so if we try now to access this this will give it will give us error or maybe it won't display anything because we don't have such a name here that is called shift rows so let me save that and try to uh, to access it and uh, if we try to reload here we'll be able to see we run into error or maybe we not we won't be able to see anything so you can see how it looks we cannot be able to access it so i'm going to come here now into my product list here and now i'm going to change this to shift rows so shift rows like that let me do this and then also i'm going to change here to shift rows like that so let me save that so if i do this and then let me see how it looks let me reload again so if i do this 
may also it won't work because remember we don't have this uh, in this information here in our field we don't have as uh, a field that is called id and uh, so we need to change that we don't have a field that is called product so also we need to change that so let me show you what we'll do so here i'm going to add an id so like that actually it is here an id this is because we have id in our data here you can see we have id also we have a location so i'm going to change here also so let me just let me just change remove some things here so i'm going to have an id here i'm going also to have to remove this yeah and uh, you can see how also you can structure the field you can give it field uh, you can give it header name and also width and all those things so let me change let me remove this until here so i want to remove this let me remove it until uh yeah so i'm going to remove it until here like that and now what i'll do is that i'll be now changing here so let me paste it here this one i'll be calling it location so i'm going to give it location and it, this information here for field should correspond with this data that we have here so this one for location so also we need to have another field here and uh, also here you can change so the header name is the one that you'll be seeing in the, our column up there so here also we need to change so this one will be uh for the date so date here and then here we can change to date so this is date and uh, let me also change something else here so we need also to change here let's see which uh time we can we can just take time here so this is time also this is here will be time like that and uh, also we need i'm going to change here to other fields here let me see another field that we can add duration so we have duration here so we have duration and here also you need to change to duration and also here you can see we can change also the width here so we can change it give a hundred or 150 or the width that you want i'll show you that so here also the other thing that we can change is uh something like now we can change client so let me change here to client and also we can change here to client like that so let me see the the other one that we can add actually i can just leave it like that so i've been i'm going to show this here only this information here so let me now reload again and see if it will work so if i scroll if it reloads again let's see if it will work so here it is not able to also it's not working so let me inspect and see where the error is coming from so i'm going to console here so here i need to look at where, where the problem is so here let me see so attachment is not defined and then here process is not defined okay okay so i want to see where the problem is so let me see here so let me also go back and because here i cannot get information that is helping me so what i'll do is that i'm going to look here at what is where the problem is because here also i need to have a uh, like uh, to know where the problem is coming from so this here it should be i think i can give it or let me just leave it like that let me see it like that let me also come here and change this and also here i need to say like const id and then one like that so if i change this 
let me see if it will work now let us inspect again and see if we'll get the error of this page and uh, what is happening here so if i inspect here and then go back here if i just take here it should give me like an error in this console and this is how you debug most of your code and uh, if you are not getting information so here you can see uncode error and then here we can see material ui the data grid components require all rows to have a unique id property a row was provided without id in the row prop so this is id one and then all all these other things the information so what i'll do is that i'll go into my demi data and in here i'll just change this to id like that small id with small letters so this is id also i'm going to change also this one here so id and uh, because there are five you need to change all of them to id like that so let me change this one here also so uh, to an id and uh, then when i save this and then let me close this and then when I reload here, we'll be able to see like we can see our data. So when let it reload and here now you can see our information now. So you can see here this one also there are information that you cannot be able to see because these rows are very small. So what you can do is that you can come here into your, you can see this is product list, but you can change it to shift list. What you can do is that we can change also this width here so this one we can change to this we can just leave it like that for our location here we can just add it to be 150 let me add 150 and here also i can give it to be 150 also so this one i can give it to be a 100 and this also i can give it to 150 and 150 now 150 and then 150 here also you can see this field here that we are calling action and this is where you have a button for edit and then for delete so let me save on that if we check here it you see that it will change the width of these uh, rows here you can see so you can be able to see now location in full the date but you can see here time also is very small so i'm going to change that also so this here in our time i'm going also to give it like 150 to see the field or the column very well so if i compile this and then let's go back here you can be able now to see every information here so right now we have created this but because it's just a dummy data let me also go back and also change for other other places now for the staff and then we we'll create for the client so let me reload this and uh, now we'll be able to go to other places so if you come now to shift it contains now information that we have for shift now so now i'm going to go to staffs and to staff here you can be able to see now we change the route to staff but right here also i want to change something else i want to change this information because this information is not corresponding with the uh, information that we will have in our application so what i'll do is that also i'm going to change this and now because we have now the stuff we can go into this part here that we are calling in uh, this page that we are calling user list so if we come here also you can be able to see we have we are using also the data grid so let me scroll up here so here you can see also we are have this data grid and as explained in the previous videos also you can be able to see we are using like this here that we are calling user rows so we need to change the information here and this one also we are going to call it staff rows like that and also here we need to change it to staff rows so the other thing that I am going to change also here, I want to first of all save that and uh, also I want to go back into our demi information or demi data. So here in our demi data, let's look for user rows because that's the information that we are going to change. So if we scroll up here, 
so let me scroll until where so somewhere here you can see we have this user rows and uh, we want to change this now to staff rows so this one should be a staff rows so now we need to to get the information now from our chat gpt luckily enough i had already created the information from our chat gpt so here i'm going to scroll down and also you can see now we have this information here so let me see this one was for shift you can see here also i give it another prompt and this one is i want you to create a data that is an array of object and the objects uh, containing information like id information full name phone address gender date of birth and this one i think will be for current let me see if i created for this one is one for the for the staff and you can see this prompt is asking i want you to create a data that is an array of objects and the object containing information like id full name phone address gender username email role password which is encrypted you can see here and staff id so you can already see here the information now so i'm going to copy all of this so from this uh, array here so let me uh, take this actually i don't know why it is giving me like uh, i want to just take this like that so let me until there i think and uh, or maybe let me take this one because you can see here i told it also to create five of them so let me copy this five of them for this data so if i copy this and then go back into my code here so i can be able to remove this and then change so you can be able to change here so until where so i need to change this until here so i can do that now so i have changed all of the information that we had here for the staff for staff rows or the user rows previously so now let me come here and uh, now i can change now this field because if we now try to go into this let me come here so if i try to visit this let me reload also if i try to go now to staff a page which is a uh, user list you will not be able to see it so you can see here we are not able to see it so this is staffs and we cannot be able to see that page and this is because we need to change the information here first thing that i also change here i need to change like let me show you I want to change this id like how we did in our previous video so here i want to change this to id so let me change all of them to small id so this is id also we have this as id here so also i change this to id and also here i'm going to change this to id like that and uh, yeah that's that's it so now i want to change the information that is in here so i'm going to first of all remove this here to be and then live with uh left we need to be left with actions only so i'm going to remove this and then here now i can be able to now to change these fields so let me see the fields that we have in our user so our user will have let me first of all save this so our user will have let me full name so we need to change this to full name and remember it should be the co corresponding with the one the formation that is in here so the full name also we need to this one also i'm going to give it a field of 150 so a 150 here let me copy it now and then paste it so copy it like that then also here i need to to give it like another field so the other field that we can have here is phone number so we can have phone on phone here and then also here we need to change this to full name 
full name like that yeah also we need to change this to phone number phone number like that also here we need also to change here to be address so here is address like that address here it is address address and then also we need to change here so let me see the other information we have address we have like a gender so this is gender here like that we need also to have gender here like that also now let's have staff id so the other information will show in the detail page so this one is staff id so this one should be staff id like that and in here we need to change to see staff id like that let me save and see if it will work so now if i reload now already you can see the information here it is really really nice so this one will be ap and then the the staff id so i'm going to change here in our demo information so this one staff id it should be ap actually up here so this one should be ap like that to change that also here we need to change it to ap like that let me change also this one here uh, to be ap also so ap we need to change also this to ap ap and also this one should be ap like that so if i change that now you'll be able to see this information here so in the when i click this one so let me reload again so now you're able to see now the the list so i think now you understand how you can be able to use this one the data grid or the the data grid from material ui because it really it is really nice because also you can see down here in in the bottom right you can be able to see also it contains pagination like here you can see five out of five if we go beyond five we can be able to go to another page so now i want to create another page now and then for these clients so i want to come here so let me first of all just close this one and uh, here in my app dot js here i want to go to this part here where we have our clients so let me see for clients i don't have any route for clients so what i'll do th then i will first of all create here another page so this page i'm going to call it client and uh, here also i'm going to change on something so here i'm going to create client.jsx like that and uh, here i'm going to also how uh, i when i can i can just I can just leave, leave it like that but let me just create a css so client.css and uh, what i'll do here i'll just copy everything from our user list actually this is let me just call it client list uh, okay let me rename it to client list client list like that so also the this one we call it client list to name it to client list so client list and also here also we need to change to client list or even we can just leave it like that but let me change client let me use cups small letters client so client list like that so now that is it now we need to go back and uh, in our user list here i'm going to copy everything so control a copy this and then i'm going to 
in this client list here and paste this like that but now what i need to do is that here i need to change like the name of this function so this one we are going to call it let me see here so export default function and this one should be client list not user list so this is client list and uh, now we can be able to if we want to now get the information we can get in it from now here so now this is it i want also to get now from uh, let me get the information from client list so like that and uh, if i save this now i can go also back here and uh, where we have now staffs i want to have clients so copy this and then here i'm going to change this to clients like that i'm hoping that you're understanding what i'm doing here so here also i'm going to import now client list so we need to create this client list you can see yeah we can import it direct so if i come here you can see due to auto completion we were able to import it so let me save this and then if i go into now my sidebar so let me see in my sidebar here where we have clients so you can see clients here now we need to go to this route clients not staffs so if i do this so let me save that and uh, when i try now to reload again and then i'll be trying to go to clients path now to be able to see if i go to this page for clients so if i go to this part already you can see now we have this because if you check here if we have stuff up here you can see we are going to this route for stuff if we go to clients here also you can see we are going to this route that we are calling clients here so now we need to change this information here for our for these clients so we are going to go into our dummy information also so here let me come here into clients and then i want to open let me just close this and then let me also close this css here like that now because you can see the demi data here what i'll do is that i'll create another another uh, row and then this one i will be calling it client rows so let me copy this until here so copy this and then paste it down here but this time here i want to change this to be clients row so let me change this so clients row like that now the other thing that i want to do is to copy now the information from our chat gpt so this one here i'm going to change this information now now uh, from here now i'm going to copy this because this one is for now the clients so not actually this up here so i'm going to copy this like that until there and then let me copy this and then i'm going to paste it here so like this until let me see here so i'm going to paste this information there and because now this is client rows i'm going to to import it in our client list here so i'm going to come here and uh, change this to clients so clients rows you can see it here client rows uh, like that also here i'm going to change now to client rows uh, here so client rows and then here also i'm going to change let me see here also we are going to change because in this demi data here for clients rows we don't have staff id you can see we don't have start staff id here so i'm going to remove this here this row here first of all and then if i do this now i think because the information that is in here is the same we can be able to see it now so if i save this and then go back here so let me see 
So if I go back here and uh, then reload, you need to see uh, the information now for current and not for for clients and not for staffs so right here because i i can see we don't we are not getting the information that means there's some somewhere that we have an error so let me check here so we have full name yeah here, here also we have full name or oh, here we have id you can see this is not the id that we are using so let me change this to small id like that also i'm going to change this to small id small letter id now if we save this now and reload again now we'll be able to see the information so if i reload now you can see now the information here and because this also because this is for the client also we can be able to change other things now or we can be able to add other feeds so let me come here into client list and i'm going to change this to maybe let me check here so i can take this and uh, have like uh, other fields here and we'll have two other fields so here this one will be start date start date and this also will be here will be end date so end date like that so this one is start start contract contract and then end contract so end contract like that this is the date to start the contract and the date to end the contract so if i save this let me see now the information here so we have this information here you can see we have id full name here we have everything here now you can see also now we have this start uh, date start contract and uh, end contract but what we can do also is that we can just give them like uh, let me just give them a, like, a retro space so for gender here i'll just give it to be a hundred and here also we can give it to be 200 to have some uh, space and this one here we can give it to be 200 like that so if i save this let me see how it looks so yeah you can see how it it looks like so yeah we have start contract and the contract so that is it and uh, now if I, because I want us to now go to adding the shift also. So if I come here in the shifts and I want to add shift. So let me click here. And then here also we are going to customize it in a few or in the other video to look like this one here. Because this is where we'll be able to see the shift information. Now we are going to customize it to look, to look like this one here. So now if you click create here, you cannot, you cannot be able to see new product. And this is because we changed that route to new shift. So let me come here into this, the one that you are calling the product here. But you can change it to shift. So here you can be able to see, uh, let me see here. So here we need to change, let me change here, uh, the in, here the link here to be sh uh, new shift, not new product. So let me save this one here. So let me try and uh, now let me go back. And when I try to go and then let me reload actually. Let me reload first of all. So when I reload here and then try to go to this here, you can see now new shift. We have this this page here that also was a new product that is. So you can see how this admin dashboard cater for most of the things. So here we need to change uh, things to now to look like this one here. So now let me go back. Let me go now to my code here and uh, let me look for this new product here.
but this one should now be new shift you can change that so here we need to change it to new shift so this is new shift like that let me save that and uh, here i want to remove this part here for add item like that so let me also save and see how it will look like so we have removed the image this part for the image so in here now we can start creating uh, now the fields that we want so the field that we want we want location here and uh, let me show you something so we are going to have this so we must reload again okay so when we reload now we can be able to see instead of name here we'll have location so we have to have location here so location and uh, we have the field for location here we need to change the location here to be address so i can take any address from maybe let's say like charge pt here we can take one of our addresses uh, let me take this address here and add it like our press holder here so like that yes and then also we need the other field here so we need to have another field that we are calling date and time so let me come here and uh, change this so this one is date and time so date sorry date and time like that and this one here i'm going to change this one to date and we have another one here we need to have another input here and this input we are going to give it a placeholder let me add a placeholder here and here we can be able to say maybe something like 10 am a 10 am to maybe something like 12 here pm so this is the like the time that the shift should uh, you should attend the shift so i'm going also to just copy this this part here and i'm going to paste down here so we need other input like we need the type so this one will be type here so this is type and also here we can we, here in our placeholder we can change that to now actually it has just moved so here we need to change this one here to be am or pm so am slash pm and also we can add here another field so let me check the other field that we need here we need to, we have client so here we need to have this for client like that and then also we need to have because this now is the client we can also go into dummy information or we can just change this to be john doe or maybe whatever you want to add here in our placeholder so also we need to have another field so let me check which another information so we need duration so we have to have duration here so duration actually uh, i wanted to do it the other way around so duration so here i can just give it to be two hours so this is duration here and this one should be like three hours or two hours like that and now the other thing that we need the other field that we need to have is this one that we are calling now like uh, let me this information that we have here that is called notes like that so we have this so we have notes here and uh, now here i can i need to give this like to be a text area let me add a text a text area here so let me add text area text area 
so on this one here i'm going to i'm not even going to give any like a placeholder so let me also see the other thing so the other thing that we need to have down here is now we need to have the uh, assigned to yeah assigned shift so this one is assign shift so assign shift like that and now in here we can just leave we can just give it like a select or something but we can let me just have a select here and then options so this one here we can have select and then options of course we are going to use other things so here i'm going to say like james do so also i'm going to have another option here and this information here we can have like john do also like that so let me save now so now we have now added this uh, input here so let's check so if we come here you can be able to see now we have all of this now yeah so we have the location we have the time date everything here so now this is it i wanted now to customize until this part so i have shown you also how to use other things like data grid and also how to customize so the data that is not or the code that is not yours so now um, in the other video now we are also going to finish with the customization and then start integrating because now that is the part that is fun we are going to now to take the information from our database and uh, also add information to our database and manipulate our database so now this is the last day of or these are the last days of customizing and then we jump into now start integrating our whole application i'm hoping that you're enjoying this project and if you're enjoying also remember to like and subscribe this to this youtube channel also you can leave a comment so that i know how i'm impacting your learning so that is it have a great day see you in the next video